Hey guys, how are you all doing today? I hope you're having a good Tuesday. I have with me today a non-alcoholic beer for a change. I know you're not a fan of non-alcoholic beers, but if you don't try it, how would you know it? I really like non-alcoholic beers and recently I've gotten used to Heineken, for which I did a review, even to Budweiser, of which I did a review. And now I have with me Ho Garden. I'm quite excited about this because um, Ho Garden doesn't really, uh, is, is not a very common guest um, in India. What I'm trying to say is that, yes, it's a very famous beer, but it's not often you get any product from this company. And uh, I think it's Ho Garden. I'm, I like to call it Ho Garden. If it's Who Garden, I'm sorry, man. So this is a three set uh, can, um, you know, and I'm probably just gonna unbox it. I got this from Amazon, I paid about 200 rupees and uh, my watch is saying I need to get up and take a walk. Okay, I, let me just first open this. Okay, I don't wanna like break the packaging or something. All right, we have it open now. So I kept these in the fridge for a good part of three hours and they're not very cold. I mean, they're okay. Like I can live with it, but if you know me, you know I like things cold, man. I, I, I like my beer cold as hell, like GOT level cold. But this, this is not cold enough. Anyways, I'm still gonna review it. Take a look at the packaging. It says Wit Blanche. I think that means wheat and Blanche means white. I don't know, man. And it says here coriander and orange peel. Okay, I, it's not a very inviting mixture. Um, the per can rate is about 65 rupees and it has no alcohol. And that really excites me. The number of calories per 100 ml is about 27. So if we have a 300 ml can, 330 ml, it's about 81.8, so about 90 calories in each can. I can live with that, guys. One reason I don't like to have too much beer these days is because of how heavy it makes me and how it makes me gain weight. So let me find a glass also. Okay, so I've kept, I've kept two of the three cans in the fridge. Now, um, I, I've, I nowadays try to have things in the glass because I've been watching a lot of YouTube reviews and, and they always say that beer is meant to be consumed in the glass. And I realize I've been living my, all my life thinking something else. So for now, at least, I'm gonna be doing, okay. So, this is Whole Garden 0, 0.0. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of Heineken 0, 0.0. I think it's as good as the real thing, um, but it doesn't give you that much happiness. But if you just wanna quench your beer thirst and you just wanna have a beer without getting high, and if you just have an important meeting tomorrow and day after, or if you just decided to give it easy or take it easy for a while, I strongly recommend all non-alcoholic beers. And the good news is, dude, there are so many of them. And my favorite is Heineken 0, 0.0. I doubt I like this as much. And I was right. Um, it tastes a lot like your Ho Garden regular beer except that it has coriander in it. And definitely a, a, a lot of orange are also going on, but it's not the good orange, like let's say you would have an orange bloom, the beer, which I want to review soon. I think it just tastes like, have you guys had Kingfisher Radler? Yeah, Kingfisher Radler. It tastes like a distant second cousin of it. Definitely better tasting than Kingfisher Radler, guys. But, it, it's like a healthy beer. It's like, you know, it's like what your mom would make for you. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's too safe. It just, it just tastes like, 
Okay, dude. Now, yeah, it, it's exactly, it's so much similar to Rattler, I can't tell you, man. Except it has a little less of the hajmola kind of taste. It has more like the orange and pepper kind of a, a lot of pepper going on, man. I, I don't like my drinks peppery, but. Okay. So, um, yeah, man, this is uh, decent. It's different, okay? It's not like your Budweiser or your Heineken. It does taste a lot, lot like Hogarden. And guess what, guys? I don't like Hogarden. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be a great beer and all that. I think it's one of the worst beers out there. But I was just ex excited to see this because like I said, Hogarden doesn't treat India with all that much attention, you know, this company. I think they're from, from uh, I think they're a, a company based in Netherlands. I could be wrong. They could be from Germany or some other place. I'm sure you guys will let me know in any case. So, yeah. Now that I've had it, uh, I don't know. Maybe if, if it was served a little more cold, I would appreciate the technicalities of the drink and the taste a little. Um, if you like Hoe Garden a lot, you'd likely to like this a little at least. If you don't like Hoe Garden and you've never tried it, you're not missing out on much. Um, it's just one of those overrated beers which is not very good. Similarly, this, is, this just tastes a lot like Hoe Garden and it's not very good. I would give it 3 out of 5, which I think is a healthy rating. Maybe it grows on me. I like the can. I like the way it's represented. I like that a company that is as uh, considered as premium as Hogarden. Sorry, man, I'm burping all over the place. I like the fact that Hogarden has bothered to do this with India. And yeah, I, I'm just having this because you know what? I have to be honest. By the way, these glasses are awesome. You know, they make one little beer seems so big like the other day my dad never drinks okay so he, he's a non-drinker so i told him dad how about a beer today and he said no son i said dad come on it'll cheer you up man you know what i'll have half with you he said all right so i went and got one of these glasses and i poured the corona to the air and i got another glass from me and i poured, poured it probably to the air and it was good man and then i went and did cheers so yeah, it's, it's cool to have these kind of glasses. I think it's about 200 ml or 250 ml, somewhere in between that. And I'll leave the link in the description. But overall, this beer is not a good tasting beer. And uh, uh, I don't like it that much, man. It, it tastes a bit harsh, you know. Um, so that's the thing. I, I probably would give this a three on five or a six on 10 for value. It's good. And if you like whole garden, you probably will like it. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just a free spirit who likes to try everything, man. So there you go. All right, guys, that was my review.